There's a good poem I'd like to share with us for this Memorial Day weekend. And it goes, remember those who served before. Remember those who are no more. Remember those who serve today. Remember them as we eat and play. Remember our protectors who are not home today. Remember them all on Memorial Day. The gift of memory, a gift given to us by God, our Father, our Creator. How do we plan to spend this Memorial Day weekend? For many of us, this weekend marks the beginning of summer. Time for picnics and barbecues. The time we gather with family. Wonderful things to do to celebrate getting outside, sharing time with others, enjoying our happiness and freedoms. But how might we as Catholics most fully partake in this holiday? First, I would say our duty to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and our country will be to take time to pause, and in particular, to remember, to remember. That gift of using our memory, so often it's how we give honor to others how meaningful it is when someone says, I was thinking of you today. To pause and to remember. And to begin with God, the Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, whose solemnity, of course, we celebrate today, according to our church's calendar. As we heard, Moses said to the people, Ask now of the days of old, ever since God created man upon earth. Ask from one end of the sky to the other, did anything so great ever happen before? Was it ever heard of? The first thing I propose that we can pause and remember is the gift of existence that our God, our Father, He made us. God made our family. God, our Father in heaven, is our creator. He made everything that is. And to intentionally take a moment to pause and to remember that, to say, thank you, God, for the gift of life, the gift of putting me and us here, providing for us, protecting us, blessing us. It's like the prayer from Psalm 77. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. I will remember his wonders of old. I will meditate on all his works and ponder on all his mighty deeds. The gift of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, our God. And now the Son of God, Jesus Christ, we know he came on mission here to earth to fight for us, to battle against our greatest enemies, sin, Satan, and death. And he even laid down his life for our sake. And so to intentionally look at a crucifix uh, this weekend to pause and remember, be able to say, thank you, Jesus, for dying for me, for all of us. The Holy Spirit who dwells within us, who leads us and guides us, gives us strength to pause and to remember him who with the Father and the Son we worship and glorify 
Now, Memorial Day, of course, is a national holiday, the time for honoring and uh, mourning uh, our soldiers who died while serving us uh, for this country. Many people, uh, perhaps many of us, will visit a uh, cemetery uh, this weekend or tomorrow to honor and mourn those who died uh, while serving. And as Catholics, in a special way, we, we do this and we pray for the dead. We can give thanks to God for the lives um, of the brave men and women there in those cemeteries who sacrifice for us all. And to remember their families, their family members who remain, who also pay such a price. And we pray for their souls, for God to reward them for their service. So more than just uh, a longer weekend or a great uh, time to be with family, this Memorial Day weekend is a time to pause, uh, to remember, to remember God, the most holy trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, in a special way to remember all those who served and gave their life for our freedom.